There's a total of 63 golf courses throughout Montana. We looked at them all to bring you the top 10 public golf courses that you could play. But before we do, you want to take a look at our channel. We're hitting all the top public golf courses in each state, along with the top golf courses in every country. And you're not going to want to miss any of that footage. So let's zoom in and take a look at number 10 on this list. And all these golf courses are constantly changing. So keep a lookout for more videos to come. Let's zoom in now to number 10. This one's a good one. A little 18 old golf course here. It was built in 1992 as a par 70. It stretches 6,401 yards with a slope of 114 and a rating of 69.8. A lot to like about this golf course here. It's got some pretty picturesque backdrops, but a few houses on some of the courses, as you can see. But a pretty good golf course to start us off. And I'm going to set the bar right now. This state's got some incredible golf, and they're going to be building more golf courses, so it's so important to keep a lookout for those more videos to come. It's pretty fairly reasonable. It's about $41 on golf now. It's a par 72 that stretches 6,480 yards with a slope of 115 and a rating of 71. Now, we don't have incredible footage of the course like the next few golf courses we all have good footage we just have some good pictures of this we plan on visiting this golf course and bringing some great uh, footage to the internet here it was built in 1998 and it's open from March to the end of October that's gonna move us now into number eight on this list a top public golf course that you could play throughout the state this course was built in 1994 by Mark Hunter it stretches 6,511 yards with a par 71. It has a slope of 119 and a rating of 69.9. Its golf season is from beginning of April to the end of October. And it has four tee boxes to choose from. It's pretty reasonable as well. All these golf courses are fairly reasonable. Towards the end, it gets a little bit more expensive. Let's zoom in now. We got a lot of golf left. We still got seven more golf courses to look at. And then some of the best golf courses left. So let's zoom in now to number seven on this list of top golf courses. To be two golf courses here to choose from, we're going to give it to the championship golf course right here. And that stretches... 7,008 yards with a slope of 122 and a rating of 72. It also is a par 72 and it was built in 1937. It's a ton of history here. Might push it a little bit over the edge as we continue to update these videos. It was had some golf updates built by WPA Project and John and Carl in 1997. It looked like it had some major updates by them. Uh, let's take a look now at six more golf courses. Some of the best golf is sitting right here in this beautiful state that we got to play. So let's zoom in now to number six on the list. This one's a good one, Buffalo Hill. Of course, it's a little expensive. It starts off about $85, but on golf now, you can get it for about $55. It's pretty reasonable. There's 27 holes to choose from. You put together the both best golf courses, it's 6500 and 84 yards with a slope of 137 and a rating of 77.2. It was built in 1977 by Robert Graves. Has bluegrass greens and bluegrass fairways is open from April to the end of October. And again, about six or seven chi boxes to choose from at this course here. Pretty good. It's got some LIDAR, so we like to see those type of courses here. Now we're breaking the list in half. We still have five more golf courses to take a look at. Quickly, we're going to move in to number five, Whitefish Lake Golf Club. Now we're going to give it to the south course here. Both ones are really, really good courses. It's a par 71 that stretches 6,551 yards. It has a slope of 131 and a rating of 71.6. A little bit of history. It was built in 1979. Has bent grass greens. And it's been ranked a top golf course year in and year out. Its golf season goes from May 31st to the end of October. It's got a practice facility. PGA Tour pros talk about this course quite often. It's got some amazing backdrops as well. It probably should be a little bit higher on this list. But we're going to give it to number five. 
And that's because we still got some great golf to look at. There's still four more public golf courses that you could play throughout the state. Let's quickly look at number four, Northern Pines Golf Club. In the northern part of the state is a hidden gem here. And we're going to take a look. The course is pretty reasonable. It's a par 72 that stretches 7,015 yards. It has a slope of 130 and a rating of 72.5. The course was built in 1996 by Andy North and is open from April to the end of October. And it's got all the practice facilities, golf school academy, teaching pros, everything you need to get you started. A lot of water on this course as well. Now we got three more courses. Let's quickly get to number three, a course that we almost played on this list. We plan on playing pretty, pretty quickly. Canyon River Golf. The course stretches 6,966 yards. It was built in 2006 by Brian Curley and Lee Smith. Had some pretty good reviews. It has a rating of 72.3. And a slope of 125. The course is pretty expensive in regards to other golf courses on this list. About $85 to play it. That probably has gone up since then. Let's take a look at number two. Now, getting down to the nitty gritty of the top golf courses. Let's zoom in now to our second golf course. Not too far away, Old Works. One of the most unique golf courses out there because of the color of the sand. It was, and it's a mining area course it's built in 1972 and it stretches along 7705 yards of course the slope is 137 and a rating of 76.1 course was built in 1997 it has bent grass greens it's golf seasons from april to october and it was built and designed by jack nicholas famous golf designer now, believe it or not, this list is consistently changing. We're going to be updating it periodically. This probably should have been the number one golf course, but we still have one more to take a look at. This one's very well known, and it's won numerous awards. And There's no arguing that it probably is number one. But with the suspense driving, let's now zoom out so we can take a look at the course on the northern part of the state. The number one golf course that you could play within the state of Montana. You're going to have to drive pretty close to the border here for the wildest club now look at this little 18 hole golf course here this par 72 stretches 7207 yards it was built in 2000 and the golf season goes from march to november built and designed by nick faldo had some and lee smith and brian curley it was a par 72 with a rating of 74 and a slope of 137 that's going to do it for our list keep a lookout for more videos to come it's got one thing this is World Twilight Offer. Go fly. Launch control, this is Houston. We are go for launch.